there is one individual in this room uh, who is literally one in a million, uh, and, uh, and he has raised well over a million dollars for Virgin Unite, um, really gone out of his way. And if I may, come in just and invite uh, Joe Polish up to an executive board. something that uh, Steve Sims just did recently for uh, Dan Fitzpatrick back there is uh, Dan on Necker Island um, had this uh, we we're sitting around and basically um, you were sitting there thinking well uh, I'd like to maybe see what journey and, and yeah so just tell the story yeah well so here's the deal I'm there with my brother Gary who's also my business partner my best friend so we're listening to John say like wow I'd pay can I say dollar amount? Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I, I'd pay $75,000 to Virgin Unites to sing with Jimmy Buffett if I could do three songs. Now, I love Jimmy Buffett, Cheeseburger in Paradise, yeah. Mm. But it's not my fantasy to sing with him. I can sing better than Jimmy Buffett. So I, <laughs> I told my brother, I said, I wouldn't pay 75 bucks to sing with Jimmy Buffett. I wouldn't pay 75,000 bucks to sing with anybody. Well, except Journey. Hey, I'll do it. <laughs> You know, and so I, I said, I'll, I'll pay $75,000 to Virgin Unites if you guys can set up this deal uh, for me to sing with Journey. And Branson says, sure, you know, I can make that happen. So I even talked to him again the next day. And because I thought, well, let's not make this just all about me, although that is my favorite subject. Let's do like a charity thing. So I created this idea to have a workshop, you know, because I teach trading have a workshop and this and that, and I, I came up with an easy figure of about 70, uh, about 750,000, maybe a million bucks that I could raise for Virgin Unite. So Richard makes a phone call to somebody in his New York office who never called me. I called them three times. Love you, Richard, but love you even more, Steve. Um, they didn't do anything, didn't do a damn thing. And then so Joe talks to me, he says, he goes, because I'm asking Joe about it. Hey, man, Richard's guy didn't do anything for a journey, and I got money, I'll pay. And so he says, we'll talk to Steve Sims, Bluefish. Hi, this is Joe Polish, and I'm here with a very interesting dude, uh, Mr. <laughs> Steve Sims, who is the uh, founder of uh, the Bluefish. So I talked to Steve, and I, I kind of thought he was full of crap, because my first conversation with him on the phone was, um, hey, this is what I want to do. Uh, and he says, oh, okay, what, where do you want to do it? <laughs> and it's like I asked him if somebody could come over and wash my car, and he's just going, well, sure. I heard about you through a couple of my clients in my Genius Network Mastermind, which is a $25,000 a year program for people that make over a million dollars a year, that people that really want very high-end, experiential sort of uh, learning, and in your particular case, you do very amazing out of this world sort of experiences that you arrange for people so for people that have never heard of the bluefish which you keep it kind of hidden uh, what is it what do, you, what do you actually do we arrange amazing experiences uh, facilitate access that maybe you'd seen on TV and, and never thought or dreamt that you could actually do if you can dream it and you've got a big enough checkbook we're gonna get it done for you my proposal was that I would sing for journey sing with journey at one of their sound checks because they do a sound check before every show so you know, it's not that big a deal for them to do. I would donate a bunch of money to Autism Speaks, sell seats to contributors who would donate money to Autism Speaks and all that. So I had this great idea and it all revolved around Journey's sound check. So guess what? They don't even do sound checks anymore. They don't even do them because they're Journey and Journey doesn't do sound checks. So what are they doing for me? Steve set up literally a private concert with me. They're not, I'm not just showing up at Soundcheck. Everybody's getting there early. It's just amazing. This is my dream. <laughs> and, and the best thing of all, though, is I'm going to raise a boatload of money for Autism Speaks, which is really cool. Yeah, yeah. It's all, it, it, I'm a crier. It, yeah, no, which is good. It's better for a camera. Yeah. Really? Oh, okay. Hang on. The marketing bit. Get a tear. Do I have a little tear coming down? Okay. <laughs> From an early 
early stage as kids, we're taught to colour within the box. Yeah. And then thanks to people like you, we're taught to get out of that. Yeah. But it's amazing how people's dreams are still self-contained. And people are taught, no, you can't ever do that. You right. know, you, you, and so when they come to us with a dream, it's only half assed It's only kind of, well, mm -hmm. I, I want to go to an award show. Well, that's great. Do you want to walk the red carpet? Do you want to be within on the celebrity? Do you want to go to the after? They didn't think well, that was possible. Yeah. You know, they just wanted to be up in the, you know, the bleachers or right up in the, in, in the, the nosebleed section. We're able to kind of take what they've come to us and expand it. So then we've exceeded what they wanted. Mm -hmm. The next time they come to us, they just go, I've got a fascination with sharks, what can you do? And they just, they kind of throw it on our lap and then just run, you know, and we go, well, okay, you know, we can do this, we can do that. And so we're going to create an experience for the people that come. So it's not just like my experience, it's the people that come. They'll get to meet the band, it's going to be a separate meet and greet, you know, not just a, you know, okay, next. <laughs> you know. And we had a client in Australia phoned us up, just bought himself a brand new Ferrari. And, you know, during the conversation I had with him, I said, are you, you going to get it onto a track? Because when you've got that kind of car, you, you need to be able to see what it can do. And you're not going to understand how powerful and how wonderful and how just fascinating those vehicles are when you're dropping the kids off to school. So you've really got to put it through its paces. We had six cars at a private airfield in the Mojave, uh, all capable of 200 mile an hour plus. McLaren SLR, a race Porsche, uh, the Ferrari that he had just purchased, a Bentley race car. And what we did was we had professional drivers teach them in the morning, then in the afternoon they were speed tested and gunned each one of those cars over 200 mile an hour. Mm -hmm. And then the best part of the day, gave them back. So yeah. they didn't have to worry about the maintenance or anything. And that all stemmed from him wanting to be able to test drive that car and see what it could do. Uh, he'd also mentioned during the conversation that he liked planes. So the following, that evening, we brought him back to the SLS Hotel in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. where one of our offices is. And then the following day, we took him up to the Van Nuys private airstrip. We had an L-39 military jet waiting for him. Okay? Now, we told a few other clients that weren't interested in driving the 200 mile an hour supercars that we were doing this, this jet flight. So what we did was we decided that you can fly an L-39 jet, it'll be fantastic, it'll be exhilarating, but what if we flew them both at the same time and had a mock dogfight? So we laser tagged them, and they wow. literally took off together and engaged in a mock dogfight. What I'd like everyone to do is, all the things that you would like to do, uh, even if it seems outrageous, write it down. Uh, rent an island to myself, take a space flight, go on a luxury, African safari, visit the Titanic, drive a race car, swim with sharks, uh, compete in the Tour de France, uh, charter a yacht, uh, and then attend MTV uh, or uh, Video Music Awards. And then what to have, a summer home on a tropical island, personal trainer, new business based on my passion, convertible BMW, personal chef, three new contacts that can help grow my business, two new energy charging friends and six new A game players on my team. So whatever it is to you, let's just take about you know five or six minutes uh, and write down all of the things that you'd like to do and in the next 12 months and all of the things you'd like to have, no matter how small or how big they are. Uh, we've sent people to the Titanic. Uh, we've sent people to um, base camp of Everest. Uh, we've sent people to any award show you can think of. Um, we've had people sit in front line for the New York, Paris, London Fashion Weeks. You know, we want to do everything in life, whether it be travel, uh, great tickets, backstage passes, having your dream fulfilled, planning your 40th birthday party. Anything that you can dream and can't dream needs to be done at a certain standard. And we're that standard. We had a client that wanted to go to Napa uh, earlier this year, and um, he wanted to visit some of the vineyards. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> we personally phoned up a couple of them and they opened them up just to them. So vineyards that were not open to the public, they suddenly got a tour, they hung out, and he said they actually they were sat in the Quintessa vineyards, sitting on the, on the, on the uh, porch of the house, sipping vintage, and then they went home with a magnum that they don't even sell. Wow. And we arranged wow. all of that. You know, I've just always had this like dream of singing with Journey. I mean, which is kind of a stupid thing. But 
that's just always been it. Because I'm a singer. I can sing those songs. And I always thought, God, I wonder if I could sing to that level. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. But now, it's really not just about me. It's the charity. I think I'm going to raise a million bucks. Wow. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> They've, they've worked hard, they've made money, they respect what the dollar is, right. and they turn around and they say, well, I wonder if I could do that. I wonder if I could get involved in that. I wonder if I could walk down that red carpet. I wonder if I could experience the sunset over Cairo. And then they contact us, we make it happen, and then the dreams just come. Because as soon as you've realized you can do things you didn't dream of, then they come back and go, I want to do something in March. And, and sometimes, we don't even get a subject line. We just get a text. I want to do something then. And uh, we may have to move that date over a week or two just to, just to capture the chance for them to go running with the balls or going hiking up Nepal or going to the Oscars or the Grammys or you know, doing something a little bit experiential. As anyone can apply, not yet everyone will be accepted. Does applying to our club instantly gain you access? Absolutely not. Is this program for everyone? Definitely not. If selected, uh, does this open doors for you to live out a dream you never thought could become a reality completely? So while you sit there and ask yourself if you really need to become a member of the club, just remember this: you don't need to do anything, but you uh, you don't need to do anything, but you'll never know what you're missing until you do. Rent an entire island to yourself if you want to literally uh, go to the uh, you know Russian space station for a week. You can do that. That's I believe 71 million dollars if you want to spend a week in space, but you can do that. Uh, go on a luxury African safari, visit the Titanic. He's taken several people to the Titanic. Drive any sort of race car you want. Swim with sharks or probably even pygmy goats, I imagine, could be done. Uh, charter a yacht, uh, you know, attend. Uh, if you want to go to the Oscars, uh, he can get you tickets to the Oscars. Uh, a couple wanted to go to the Royal Wedding. He got them tickets to the Royal Wedding. Uh, if you want to meet uh, any famous celebrity or movie star with a reason, he can make that happen. We've had, we've had people that have wanted to do skateboarding with Tony Hawk. Mm -hmm. They have wanted to go recently backstage at Lady Gaga. Mm -hmm. uh, they wanted to do, um, well, some of the other ones, um, me up with Bruce Springsteen backstage. There's been quite a few requests for, for backstage. But also things like a pasta cooking course with Wolfgang Puck. Uh, and, and, and you can make most of that stuff happen? Yeah. Okay. Um, they wanted to meet up with uh, um, uh, the, uh, the daughter of Picasso, who now does a jewelry line in France. One of the strangest ones, uh, because I never saw it coming, it caught me so off guard. There was a doctor that had actually um, found a rare strain of orchid that was damn near extinct, and had managed to revive this, and it was now a flourishing uh, breed, if that's the right word, of orchid, and was going to show them at the Chelsea Flower Show. And this client phoned me because he wanted to meet that doctor that had actually done this, and it was like he was talking, he wanted to meet Elvis. Now this, the, this was his idol. And of course, when we phoned up, we tried looking for his publicist, he didn't have a publicist, tried looking for his manager, he didn't have a manager. So we phoned up the school he was at, and he picked up the phone. Wow. We said, you know, you did this, and he was like, yes. We said, you know, we got this guy once more. He was like, really? Was, <laughs> yeah. He was amazed that he had a groupie. So that is common. We organized his dinner in London. They absolutely loved it. I think you're really just limited by your imagination. I think this guy can arrange about anything you want. You yeah. Know, I'm kind of thinking, like, maybe I could go, you know, sleep in the Lincoln bedroom under the next administration or something. He, he can, he he can, probably do he that. He can pull off some bizarre stuff. Yeah. I mean, He's heard everything under the sun, and the guy's been doing it for like years. What we're going to do is open doors and extend your dreams. We're going to have the client that says, hey, I've got to go to Boston for the night on business. Fine. We're going to find out what's going on in Boston. Right. We're going to let you know what's going on, and then make sure that you've got access to the, the, the relevant club or the restaurant that, that you like. And we, we get to know our clients, so as they travel, we organize it. If you've got to have balance in your life, this is like a cool way to get it. I mean, you can, I'm going to, the, uh, to Elton John's um, uh, Oscar party uh -huh. with my brother, with his wife, and I'm taking my niece as my date. And uh, it's like, it's a, you just kind of write a check and get balance through these really, really cool experiences that nobody else can do. So I'm kind of buying my way to a balanced life. Yeah. Which no, is, but, but see, I, if honestly, you're making money, that's the, that's the thing to do. You know, I, I remember listening to Dan once. Oh, no, you, were, you were saying something about some, uh, you, you have this on audio too. I mean, uh, there's a lot of entrepreneurs who 
make a lot of money, but they don't reward themselves uh, for any of their money making. And so, you know, I, I try to tell them, you know, there's a lot of issues in your life which are just hassles. And actually, I think more and more in the 21st century, uh, wealth is defined by being hassle free. So I just do this little test. I say, how many of you believe in the afterlife? And, you know, most people believe in an afterlife. And I say, how many of you believe that you get rewarded there for going to economy here? Okay, so I said, if you don't get rewarded in the afterlife, can you please tell me what the reward is going to the economy here? <laughs> so it's, it's this weird notion, there's kind of like a virtue tied up with, you know, um, going cheap, and there's no reward for going cheap. And what I find, as soon as entrepreneurs take care of themselves, they start taking care of others. Once I got to a point of financial security, where you'd think like, well, what is it? If, you, if, you, if money can solve your problem, then you don't have a problem. Well, now all of a sudden, I'm dealing with all the problems that really money can't solve. And so it's kind of like you check the box for financial security and put that out of the way. And then you realize that there's a whole freaking list of boxes that are unchecked that now you have to start working on. My client was actually going to Miami, so we knew he was going there, and he'd, he'd mentioned about his kids, and the Jonas Brothers were down there. Hmm. Now, he's got two girls, so um, I mentioned to him, well, hang on a minute, you know, I've got a few ideas of what's going on in Miami during this period. I'm going to make a few phone calls, and I'm going to come back to you. So I said to him, are, are the family giving you stress about you going away? Because he'd been to quite a few of these, very successful gentlemen, and uh, he'd been to a few of these showing this procedure that he had. He said, yeah, I am. I said, well... The Jonas Brothers are actually playing down there, and I can get you backstage passes so you can actually meet the boys. So you can bring your family down. I'll organize things for your family during the day. You can go and do your, your handshaking, your shoving your procedure, and showing people what you're doing. And then that night, you can be dad of the year and take them. And he loved the idea, and he texted me, and all he said was, I'm father of the year. Cheers. Now, you may tell us something you want, but we may be hearing something that you need. So we're going to be suggesting things. The biggest difference that stands us out from any other firm is that we're proactive. As we get to know you, we're going to send you ideas. We're going to send you samples. Mm -hmm. We're going to say, hey, have you thought about doing this? I, I, when we spoke before, you said you liked that. Yeah. This has just come up on our table. Yeah. There's something that Dan Sullivan came up with called the 10 times planet. And I'm going to use Steve as one of the foundational people to help build and grow that. And in the future, in, it, in a lot of it, because what he even did with you and what he's doing now is the access to certain people that I'm going to have come to 25K meetings uh, is going to go through Steve. Mm -hmm. So he's going to help. And so that's why I want him really involved with the group, because he has access to people in ways that I don't know another human being in the world that has access to people like he does. I managed to get hold of the home phone number for the chairman of the, uh, the Demolition Derby, the U.S. Demolition Derby. Wow. And I said to him, I've got two incredibly intelligent and affluent people to want to experience the thrill of smashing into another car. Right. He loved this. Absolutely loved it. And we actually had, there were some teams nearby this family's home in Boston, and they actually got hold of a field. They did. They kind of took it off my hands and set up a demolition derby. They set it up with her own team, her own car. She had number 40 on it. Damn. Yeah. VH1 heard about this and actually wanted to film this experience. So... We had professional film crews there, the local news crew, and she did it. She actually competed in a demolition derby and smashed the hell out of these cars. I want to go to the Victoria's Secret fashion show, but I want to be like a costume, like changer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I, so then, I, how much would you be willing to pay for Well, one thing, there should be actually a deduction because, I'm, because I'll actually be like helping. I'll be, helping. I'll be helping put the event on by helping take things off. So, I don't know, for that, I'd pay 10 grand. Well, okay. 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 Take grand. You yeah. know what's great is my, my, my buddy Jeff Madoff, which uh, I actually met through Ken Glickman, he actually does all of the uh, commercials in Victoria's Secret. Really? Yeah, he would have been here, but he's in Paris right now. Okay, because it's got to be a costume change. Not just going, I get the magazine, it's free. I don't need that. But to be a costume changer at the live event would be just awesome. Okay, that, that, that is me. Yeah, I, I honestly got it. I, I can almost, you I can you almost can make that happen. I can almost guarantee. Crap, I should have just said that. five. Yeah. <laughs>
I really think it expands your ability to experience life when you do wild stuff. People always ask me, you know, why do you arrange these, you know, trips to Necker Island and stuff, which we do it all for charity. I mean, we give 100% of the money to, to Branson's, uh, you know, Virgin United organization when I do those. But it's like, because it expands someone's mind. I see what happens to people, and I know what happens to my mind, and I know a lot of my success, if you want to call it that, has been accelerated when I put myself into situations and meet individuals and do certain things that most people simply they don't do and and I love the fact that there are people like you out there that can make these sort of things happen because you know those people are huge door openers for lots of things that most people never see that door at the end of the day you know like you're saying someone dies they're not going to take their possessions with them you know nope. what's that what's that funny saying you know he who dies with the most toys still dies yep you know what what, what happens though is those experiences are all those are the, the last things to go those are the things that stay with you. we want you to be comfortable in who you are be open-minded we love it when a client finds out says, yeah, what do I wear you know, how do I dress for that? How do I do this? Where's the best place to go? I don't want to. I don't want to look like a chump in that in that vicinity. We're there to, to to open it up for you and go. Well, that's great. We'll help you. We'll show you. We'll guide you. Have the best experience, knowing that. And there's nothing worse than this. You go to an event and you suddenly find out there's a brilliant event going on over there, but you didn't know about it. Or you get in somewhere and there's a velvet rope area and you're on the wrong side of it. Right. Why didn't they tell me about that? We're there to make sure that you are always in the right place at the right time. Find something to do tomorrow. I'd like to throw the first pitch of the Dodgers game. I'd like to be able to ring the bell at the New York Stock Exchange. I'd like to go up in space and then spacewalk. Right. You know, there's no reason for you to sit at home twiddling your thumbs. I hope this encourages you, uh, encourages all of you to do something that's on your what you want to do and what you want to have list and that uh, the Bluefish and just his story in this his conversation is a, a motivator for you to do something because at the end of the day, your life is, uh, is, is proportionate to the incredible experiences you have and the only one that's keeping you from having these experiences is, is you. And I'm Joe Polish. Uh, if you, if you want to you know, cut a check for 25 grand and join my mastermind group, uh, check it out first. It's, uh, it's a 25kgroup.com for people that make a million dollars a year or more.